So uh, please meet Colin. It's a pleasure to host uh, Colin for today's webinar. We're gonna discuss marketing mastery in detail. So uh, Pam, please say hi, big hi to Colin here. Uh, believe it or not, I have a demo call during the uh, uh, during the part of the free launch. So it went on for like nearly like one, one and a half hours and we still gotten through only a half of the product. So I know such a huge product it is. We are gonna have like a several webinars. So we will, We are what we are planning to do is we are gonna cover uh, like an overview of the product based on the use cases for today's webinar. So, uh, and especially we are gonna start with an e-commerce based use case. So Tony checking in from London, wonderful, nice to have you. So uh, we are gonna uh, start with an e-commerce based use case for today's webinar. So, but then if you have like any questions, please feel free to ask all the questions and we will get them addressed right then and there as much as possible. So uh, Colin, before we get started with webinar, can we have a quick few words about your background and what made you to build Marketing Master despite there are several tools and you are almost in competition with like many of them with a single tool. So I uh, would love to hear a few words about your background and uh, the MMIO's background. Hi, hello, good evening. So I'm Colin Marcelino. So um, the product was really launched to serve uh, um, my, uh, my countrymen. So I'm from the Philippines and here in the Philippines, our, our digital marketing um, um, field is, uh, is just about to, to go off. It's not really uh, as uh, as um, as elaborate like other countries. So we have a lot of digital marketers growing up. So as as digital marketers grow in in, in the Philippines, the need for digital marketing tool also um, increases. So the problem is um, in the Philippines we don't have a lot of people with with really big budget to spend on a lot of tools. So that's one of my struggles as well as I, as I was starting out because I needed to build uh, a thorough funnel. Uh, I needed uh, a chatbot. I needed a, uh, a, a, an e-commerce store. I needed an email marketing platform, but I can't afford to get all of them at once, uh, especially when you are starting out. So that's, that's, uh, that's what clicked for me. There, there is a problem in the market, especially here in in our country, the Philippines. There is a growing demand for uh, a good tool, but um, the tools that are available in the market is really uh, marketed, or uh, the price points is much, much uh, preferred towards the Western country where people can afford. So that's why um, we started building, uh, building a product where. Um, um, our, our countrymen would be able to easily use since a lot of people are getting into digital marketing industry and are, are really new. So they need a tool that is easy to use and is affordable. And they, that doesn't have, uh, that doesn't need a lot of uh, a very big learning curve to learn the marketing trends. So that was the problem that we are trying to address here in Marketing Master uh, IO. I'm glad that uh, I was able to, to help my uh, countrymen to do that. Um, currently, we have a uh, majority of our users are really from, uh, from the Philippines. So um, we, have, uh, we, have, uh, we have different use cases where people uh, market real estate. They are marketing um, like um, their, their, their own brand, their own products. So I'm glad that uh, it's already helping um, our countrymen, which was the first thing that I, I intended to do. That's why uh, our price points are really low, but um, the capabilities uh, does not really stray far behind the major brands out there like ManyChat, like Shopify, like uh, example for our e-commerce store, you can easily build your own um, e-commerce uh, platform, like accepting coupons, um, getting uh, your store up and running, really, really a legitimate and a full featured e-commerce store that can serve a business that can solve, that can provide a living, you know, uh, that can, especially here in, 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 in nowadays in pandemic, we are in a very dire situation. Um, so uh, people really need to get their businesses online. So we have businesses that have closed because very few people travel to their store. Very few people come to their uh, to their um, 
their brick and mortar stores. So they need a, a way to market online. So um, there's not really a lot of tool that can help them get started ASAP with the price point that is uh, with the price point that is really uh, very uh, accommodating, especially uh, for our uh, for our for our for, for my first target market. So that's why um, uh, Marketing Master comes along and um, it really helped them build a business, um, get their products online, and then they can build a uh, marketing automation around it. Example for, for e-commerce, you can build a chatbot to help market your e-commerce store. You can build help, uh, you can also build an email marketing campaign to, to build follow-ups, to, uh, to trigger abandoned abandon recovery email sequences. Um, yeah, so that's really the whole general idea and the background, the, the driving force, how Marketing Master IO started, why we are still floating today, and what this, what what problems we are trying to solve uh, as we are now. Impressive, I must say. Like, um, I mean, it's, it's no joke when you're trying to build something, when, uh, I mean, which is not supposed to, like, you are not in fight with any other tools, but then you have been building something so that you can basically uh, help almost like a whole nation to get into a most affordable solution so that they can uh, kickstart their career massively. So mass yeah. very, very impressive, I must say. So if I'm, uh, you are still watching. So if you find that uh, here's, uh, I mean, Colin's goal behind building the tool, like very impressive, at least type one, so we will know. So uh, without much ado, uh, so Karthik has said, yes, I won already. So thank you, Karthik. So anyone else who feels like uh, Colin's mission is like something like uh, it, it's really huge, very inspiring. This type one, so we will definitely know about that. So uh, meanwhile, Colin, without much ado, we just wanna. There is more one, Paul, Christopher. Thank you guys. Very nice of you to say that. So uh, can we get right away into the demo? Like, but as we discussed, we can get started with a very interesting use case and how we can achieve that using uh, Marketing Master. We have a few questions coming in, but then they are related to products. So uh, we will get them addressed probably like right after like a quick demo for the ones. Really, really appreciate that. Thank you. All right. So uh, we are going to start with a, uh, uh, a single, uh, our first use case. I'm mm -hmm. going to share with you a funnel here. So uh, this is uh, a general overview. You know, if, if we are going to build all of this uh, setup, our a lot of time will not be enough. So I'm just going to give you a very big overview, and then I'm going to show you what tools you are going to use exactly to build this kind of funnel. So uh, a typical, I'm going to show you a typical funnel what our current users are using. So um, example, uh, we have a customer who is marketing a, a vitamin vitamins product. So since this is pandemic, this is a very uh, common uh, common uh, product that uh, uh, our Filipinos are selling. So vitamin products. So what they do is um, they market it primarily primarily using Facebook ads, and then they they use the messages objective. Um, so it, when you use the messages objective in Facebook ads, when when people click that, they are redirected to Messenger, and then then the Messenger bot automation will start. So um, they can uh, set up, you, you can set up a, 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 a ads directly here pointing to Marketing Master IO. Later, I'm going to show you how we can set, uh, how, how we can set, uh, connect the Facebook ad uh, directly to your uh, messenger bot. And also you can have an, a comment automation where, where people comments on your ad, um, they, they, automatically, they automatically get a message both in Messenger and on public comment, they can uh, your your page will automatically reply to your customers who comments on your specific post. So after uh, after going in into the Messenger bot, then you can show your products. You can use a carousel, or you can use pictures, or you can you can share uh, information related to your product product. And then what uh, what we typically do, what we, re, we what we suggest is. Um, 
add those people who are coming into your bot into a messenger sequence. So this is a messenger sequence. Note that when you are uh, when you are doing a messenger marketing such as this one, you need to send your follow up messages only within the span of 24 hours, because um, Facebook does not allow us to send any promotional message um, 24 hours after your subscriber has engaged with your page. So um, these three messages, we can run them up. So this is just an example. You can just send a single message, two messages, or three messages, depending on you, as long as those messages are within the 24 hour span after the subscriber has clicked your ad or has messaged your page. So the purpose of this follow up messages is so that um, to it, it, in, in case those people who um, who view, viewed your product has engaged with your uh, messenger page messenger. Um, and in case they do not buy, you can send a promotional message to them giving them additional discount for them, uh, or basically to incentivize them to buy or example, you can also make a follow up message to them um, saying that, hey, we saw that you are interested in our product, but we, you haven't, uh, we, we saw that you haven't bought uh, our product yet. So we can assist you in any way we can. So you can send such type of messages. To make this possible, you need a tool or, or a feature that we call a condition element. So the condition element basically filters out people who bought and who did not buy from your store. So basically, using the condition element, you can send follow-up messages only to people who did not buy on your product. So that is another uh, thing that is uh, an important to keep in mind when doing this type of marketing. So once people see your ad, they can click a button or they can click your link, then they can they will be redirected to your product page. So once they are on your product page, um, uh, if they add to cart, if they proceed to check out, um, they would basically provide their um, contact information. Example, on your checkout page, you can ask for their email, you can ask for their phone number, and those phone numbers and those emails, you can basically use them to, uh, to, to send an abandoned cart recovery campaign if ever they did not proceed to the uh, to if if ever they did not uh, purchase your product, so um, example, if we already got their email, we can send an email recovery campaign one, and then abandon abandon cart recovery second sequence. So the the good thing about uh, doing email abandon cart recovery campaigns is you are not restricted to the twenty four hour rule. Um, unlike Messenger, um, you can basically send uh, multiple emails here. Example, um, you can send uh, an email one, one week apart or three days apart. So it's really up to you how you market your, uh, how, how you plan to do, uh, to do remarketing. But for abandoned cart recovery campaign, it's, it's best if you can send this 15 minutes after they abandon their campaign. And then the second recovery will be, um, let's say, three hours. And then basically, we need to uh, we need to message them in order to uh, to hopefully recover the 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 purchase because there are a lot of uh, reasons why people do not proceed to purchase. Example, um, they uh, they think that. Uh, the, your shipping fee is just too expensive. That's why they are turned off to buying it. So what you can do is you can send an email abandoned cart recovery, providing them a free free shipping coupon. So that is another way to recover those sales. Another reason is because they got busy. You know, they got busy. Uh, they were supposed to buy, but you know, they, their wife came up with another issue or whatever. So they were not able to buy. And using the email abandoned cart recovery campaign, you can easily recover that uh, sale. You can, you are just going to send them uh, your email recovery link. So if they, if they click that uh, cart recovery link, they will be redirected, transported back to their cart where they left off with their products uh, intact. So all they need to do is just Click, uh, enter the, the the required information which which they were not previously able to fill up, and then yeah, you, you basically recovered your uh, your your sales. So 
another thing is you can also build uh, a messenger abandoned cart recovery campaign. So there are ways how we can send uh, abandoned cart recovery campaign safely. So another first first is you can send your abandoned cart recovery only within the 24 hour window. Okay. So another is you can also gamify. You can you can you can create quizzes so or games what the purpose is just to make them engage because once they engage on your bot the 24 hour um, limit gets reset so meaning if they engage if they click on your button if they message your page or they reacted or whatever uh um you can, you will have another 24 hour to market to them again to, to send promotional messages so we can send to them uh, technically or theoretically we can send them a message every day as long as they are as long as our customers engage to us every day engage with our page every day so we can we can send so a lot of uh, e-commerce uh, um, um, a lot of e-commerce uh, uh, agencies or uh, people are already doing gamification uh, with their uh, with their chatbot so that they can have more engagement example they can do sweepstakes or they can do um, I, the one that I have gave you earlier, um, um, which is um, do quizzes. And then you can, af after you get the, the uh, after you can, uh, after they engage with your page, then you can squeeze out your, you can squeeze a message or two, reminding them of their purchase or maybe upselling them into another offer that might also interest them. So, so th this is a uh, messenger abandoned cart recovery. So you can also uh, use a condition element here so that if ever um, uh, they, they receive your first abandoned cart recovery, um, they won't be able to receive your second, second email or second messenger uh, once they buy. Uh, what you will do is you you are going each message you are going to use conditions um, to filter out people who bought and pe uh, people who are yet to buy uh, from your store. Now, for the purchase, once people purchase on your store, that's not the end of your um, of your journey for your customer. Um, what you can do is provide upsells. Uh, what we what, what we want is to increase our average customer value, lifetime value, um, by giving them products that would help them. So upselling, upselling is also possible uh, using Marketing Master IO. You can do one-click upsells, or what we call for this one, um, it's better to call these offers as post-purchase offers because um, this these offers happen after the sale has been completed the advantages of using post-purchase upsells is you already have the sale uh there's no way that the, the customer is gonna you know um i'm gonna uh not not convert because they have already converted so what the purpose the purpose of uh upselling is uh um, yeah, basically to increase the, the average order value. So one-click upsells. Uh, what one-click upsells does is they your customers do not have to enter their credit card again. They can just click the buy now or they can just click the uh, add this to my cart add, or add this to my order. Then their credit card will automatically get charged and the order value gets automatically, you know, increased so you can build several uh, one click upsell offers here so example uh if they bought a a vitamin c product a vitamin c product what you can offer is you can offer a a, a um another another product that's that would suit example a juice a juice that would complement the vitamin C product that if they take them together, the juice and the vitamin C, you get a better effect. So that is a good upsell. So just make sure that when you're creating upsells, the product that you are upselling to is connected to the original product that they have purchased and it's related. It's, it, it, it is symbiotic. It's helping those products would help uh, one another to, you know, it, it's, it's logical. It's not unrelated. So that's uh, the mistake 
mostly that people use when using upsell they upsell a totally different unrelated product which is no don't do that once you upsell it must be related to the product that they have originally uh, bought so you can easily build those related products using marketing master io because we have a logic so example you can you can build a rule that you the upsell will only show if they bought a certain product and into what quantity so you can you can basically filter out uh what upsell is for what product so that's that's a great thing and that would be very helpful if you are building this so now if ever the the customer did not uh uh did not uh purchase the upsell then you can just offer them another offer which which is what we call the downsell you can downsell uh, maybe you can offer the same product the same upsell but with a lower price point so the product or your post purchase offer should be no brainer should should be a very um um uh irresistible offer so that it is no brainer they would just click the buy now button and then um their order value or they they, they get they get uh, they get automatically automatically added to their to their order and um, their payment gets uh, charged as well. So they don't need to re-enter their credit card details or they don't need to uh, log into their PayPal again. So once they and once they bought the first product, they uh, they they only need to do uh, one click to to add to the uh, to the purchase that they have pre previously done. So um, you can you can easily build this. So example um they added this uh the first upsell what you can do is you can add another upsell product that would also complement them um on, on on the previous purchase so ultimately this whole funnel would lead to a a a a, a higher average order value and a happier customer and yeah uh, the happiest seller uh, due to uh, increase in order value. So that's that's uh, the use case that I'm going to show you today. So um, yeah, so just have a little, little recap. We have Facebook Direct here going to your Messenger bot, and then you can build a Messenger sequence using conditions to filter out people who, who bought and who did not buy. And then when they add to cart uh, and in, and if ever they did not push through with the purchase, you can send email abandoned cart recovery. You can also send the messenger recovery and you can also send SMS, SMS recovery if you want. Uh, you can add SMS to the mix. And once they do purchase, um, you can do upsells. And yeah, so that's the big overview of what I'm going to show you. So if you're ready, we can I can show you the dashboard. Yeah, I'm ready, I'm born ready because that's like a quite a lot of things to achieve with a single tool. So, and we have some questions coming in, but then it will be great to have a quick demo of the product because that alone might answer like a lot of questions. So uh, maybe like after the uh, quick demo, we can get back and uh, address those questions. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm gonna answer all of your questions uh, later. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna point you to, uh, to the specific feature um equivalent to the to the graph or to the to the funnel that i showed you earlier so the first funnel is the facebook ad so we need to build first a messenger bot but before you build yeah a messenger bot you still you need to have an e-commerce store you need to have a product in place first so i have already built a uh, an e-commerce store here that i'm gonna uh, that i can show you so for the e-commerce store you can have your custom domain yeah, um, but if you don't want to add your uh, custom domain, you can also um, you can just uh, use the uh, the domain or the link that is basically available here in MMIO. So I have a store here. Example, you can build multiple store by the way. So this is all my store. So I'm gonna show you one of the store, which is this one. Uh, I'm gonna show you. Uh, I think this store, I only built three products for this one. Yeah, I, I only built three products for this. So this is my product. Wait up. I mean, it's, uh, yeah. 
So this is a, a flash a flash sale of a portable car washer, premium coating and uh, back pain protector. So uh, this these products um, are all linked together because if you wash your car, you would you would need to uh, you would need to uh, make it shiny by using the uh, premium coating that uh, this is also available. And if ever you are on a long drive. Uh, the back pain protector would be very helpful for you. So all of these products are related and they serve a certain market, which is people who drive and loves their car. So um, that is what uh, this e-commerce store is, is about. So you don't need to have a lot of products filled up here. All you need to do is to build a funnel and, and to make sure that the 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 product that you are uh, you are selling would really address the problems that um, that you that your customers are are having. So we have this silly idea that you need to fill up all of the products on your store. You need to have a lot of products here before you can sell. No, that is not true. Uh, what you need to, to do is just have a product that is very useful. Have a product that would really solve the customer's problem upload that on your store and then let's start selling online so once you have this store um i have i'm gonna show you a quick sneak peek at how how you can build a product like this so this is what our product builder looks like so this is a simple product so you can build a lot of product types you have we have a variable product we have a simple product we also have a digital product or we also have a digital product with a variable so those are all supported here so this is how i basically did it so you can you can add videos on your um on your uh, e-commerce product so like what i did here so i used um, a vimeo for my video um for our product uh, for our product um, description, you can add uh, videos using uh, YouTube, Vimeo, Wistia, um, what other, uh, even Loom. You can you can you can paste the link of Loom here, and it will auto automatically generate. So you don't need to, you don't need you don't need a a an, an embed HTML code, right? You don't need that. All you need is a link, a simple link that you can copy and paste in the, on your Google browser, or I mean, on your YouTube browser, paste it on your product description, and then the video will automatically render for you. No need for embed code. Um, it's really easy to do. So we built it this way so that people who are really straight, really just starting out and really want to build an e-commerce store and start selling fast will have a really decent a uh, product page at a decent e-commerce store in in an, in just under five minutes. So after that, uh, we did a uh, a shipping method. So free shipping for if we are going to ship to the national capital region here in the Philippines and outside the national capital region, we charge uh, 250 pesos. So it's really up to you how you can charge this. So we serve, you can serve worldwide. You can charge whatever whatever shipping fee that you want anywhere in the world just just put it in here just uh, get your uh shipping uh shipping uh method add a pricing and you are you would be good to go so i added image galleries here and i added also um product reviews to add more um to add a, a what we call validation so customers love it when they see a product review on your e-commerce store so it's it's uh it's really um so, uh it's really important that you do not miss this step so once you have all this sorted out you have a good product review you have a product videos you have a product description product pictures everything is set um i think we are good to uh, build our messenger bot so let's assume that using the same method we have already built other our uh, our other products so we have three products here as i have said we have a back pain protector we have a premium coating and whatever so by the way if you have a lot of products just like one of our customer they uh they own a grocery store so it's really a hassle to build all the all the grocery all the products on their grocery store you have to build it one by one so we also support product upload via csv so what you need to do is just uh get the product import uh the 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 template 
at the um, at your at your products line by line, and then upload it, and then you can have you can easily have a, a, a thousand products in one go, uh, just using the import tool feature. So um, yeah, so that's another way if you want to add to pop bulk at a product so also if you want to change your product in bulk what you can do is you can um you can first export your product change the pricing and then re-upload it again it will be updated um in box so example you have 300 products to update you have 100 products to upgrade it's really hard to edit them one by one so what you can do is as i've said earlier export your products in csv edit them in, in in your csv file and then we upload the same csv file with the same product id and then you voila you have your massive product update uh easily done for you so we have done the product we have created our e-commerce store we have our logo time to market our product so uh, to do that we need to build a messenger bot so what you can do is go to the chatbot flow builder feature and we are going to build our flow. So example flow that I have built here is this one. Okay. So by the way, um, tomorrow uh, we will launch our Instagram feature. So you can build messenger bots also. I mean, you can build chat, chat bots also uh, inside Instagram. So just like ManyChat, you can also build uh, Instagram uh, flows. You can, you can market your e-commerce store inside of Instagram. Um, but that will not be, uh, we will not uh, discuss that on this lesson. Um, it's just, uh, let's just focus in Messenger first. Okay, so let me show you the, uh, the bundle that I have uh, built previously for the store. Where is that? Yeah, this is the clearance sale that I have used to uh, market in Facebook. It's really a simple flow. Very, very simple uh, messenger bot, but very effective. Yeah, so this is the messenger bot that I have built. And I use this to as, as my uh, entry point when doing Facebook ads. So we have here a, a product, uh, a, a product image, a, a good product image. And we have, uh, we have a added an action tag here. So we have added them to the our messenger sequence follow up. So once they entered or once they click your ad, they automatically gets added to your messenger sequence so that you can send um, follow-up messages later on if ever they did not buy uh, from your store. So, and also we have added a trigger here. So for the trigger, we have here a keyword trigger. So once they, if ever people did not um, click your ad, because once, once on Facebook, once they click your ad, um, your customer will be uh, we, will receive choices or an, an FAQ, so they can choose whichever of the choices. And then, if ever though, if ever you have customers who did not click the the choices that you provided them inside Facebook ads, then you have a catch keyword that you can uh, you can create. So this is the catch keyword that I have created. Uh, I just added a trigger inside of my message so that um, they would still receive the intended uh, message once they, even if they did not click uh, the messenger or the, 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 the FAQs that I have set up inside of my Facebook ads. So we have here a clearance sale. So um, you can easily add emoji here. And by the way, um, this is just a, a little feature that might be helpful for some, or it might not be helpful for some, but it is a good to know feature that Marketing Master ha uh, have. We have an AI that generates a product, uh, a product marketing copy for you. So example, you can click auto-generate here. You can add your product name. Example, I want, um, I I'm gonna show you, so this is, uh, I think we are, we are the only one who, among, among all of the chatbot platforms, I think MMIO is the first to implement this. You can automatically generate um, 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 your product copy or your messenger bot copy using AI. So we have GPT-3, by the way. So that's, that's what we are using here. So example, um, you can, you are marketing vitamin C. 
vitamin C product and then you have a buyer persona who would buy your product. So example, a uh, young man. A young man will buy my product or um, women on their 30s. So you can, you can just uh, describe your buyer persona here and the intention is to buy. So we can generate a, a, a copy here. So you can, you, can generate, you can generate multiple ways if you do not uh, like. So example, vitamin C is an important vitamin for human beings, human body, blah, blah, blah. So if you do not like this, you can just click generate now again and it will automatically generate for you. So I, I find this helpful for uh, people who just started out in digital marketing because um, they do not have a good knowledge in creating a copy, a, a good marketing copy. So um, this is a, a good a tool for them so that they can easily build a bot faster and they can market their products uh, really well using uh, Marketing Master IO. So that's a good to know that is also uh, unique from Marketing Master IO. Uh, okay, now let's get back to work. Um, we have here two buttons. Um, if they click the Buy Now button, they will be redirected to our e-commerce store. So we can use the button type e-commerce URLs here, and then you can choose the URL of your e-commerce store. So you don't have to copy and paste the URL, the URL here. So it is pre-built. You are just going to choose which product you are going to represent your button to. So if they click that button, they will be redirected to that same product. So after that, um, if they buy, uh, from your e-commerce store, you can uh, they they automatically gets a tag. So the tag, tag or label, what does it do? So the tag and label basically you are going to use that to filter out subscribers um, based on their tag. So you can add a tag, a tag or a label based on the customer behavior. In this case. The way we built our e-commerce store is um, if ever they buy from your e-commerce store, you can set a default buyer tag um, on them. So you are the one who would uh, configure this. You can configure the name, whatever, whatever tag you want, and then you are going to add that on your e-commerce store settings. So if you add a tag on your e-commerce store settings, example, um, the buyer tag, then people who buy from your e-commerce store inside of Messenger gets automatically uh, tagged with that certain tag, example, the buyer tag. So once you have that buyer tag, you can use that to filter out people who bought and who did not bought from your e-commerce store. So for those people who did not bought from your e-commerce store, you can send follow-up messages. So you can be sure that you are only marketing or you are, you are only sending coupons to people who did not buy from you. So that's a good use case. Um, you can also have a watch demo video here. So we have a uh, demo video. So the, the way uh, the, the, the most recommended way to upload or to use video is to upload the video on your Facebook page and then grab the video link and then add that on your Facebook media. So this is a F Facebook media element. So yeah, you can play that up and then um, the, the, your customers will receive. So example, in ManyChat, you can only upload a video worth, I think, 50 megabytes uh, or so. So it's just a very clunky video, but, um, and then, the, and then the, the, the duration is very limited. But using Facebook media, um, what you can do is you, know, you are going to upload your video on your Facebook page, and then create a Facebook media element like this one, and then add a Facebook media URL here. And then um, no matter how long the video is, no matter how big the video is, um, it, gets, it gets automatically shown to your subscriber in, in HD, in, in good quality, because it is native in Facebook inside Instagram. So it's not a third party video uh, in which you upload. So by the way, we also support video uploading. You can also upload your own video here. Just use the video element and then upload your own video. Um, but for me, um, it is not my rec recommended way because uh, you, uh, your video size is limited. The duration is limited. So that's why uh, on my campaigns, I use Facebook media. I upload my videos on my Facebook page first and then use that video link to send uh, to my subscribers. So that's that's just me. Yeah, um, you might have a different 
use case example, um, you don't want your competitor to see the videos that you post in your page. That's why you can't upload the video on your page. That's a good use case. So in that case, then you can upload the video directly here. But in my case, I don't mind if people see the video on my page. I just want my product video to be seen by all. So that's why I upload it in Messenger and use the same link to, to, um, to show inside of Messenger. So I have here a review. So what I did is for the review, I created a carousel of review here with a button. So these are the reviews of the previous customers who bought and like the product. So that's why uh, I added it as a carousel. And then for um, for for interactive uh, purposes, we always put a quick reply with a go to top button here so that your bot is not open ended. So, so when you're creating a messenger bot, make sure that your bot is not open ended. Always have a button in place uh, for people to click because the more people click your bot, on your uh, on your buttons or interact in your bot, the more um, the more uh, the the twenty four hour window gets refreshed for that same person. And once the twenty four hour window that is uh, limited by Facebook gets refreshed, you have another twenty four hours to send promotional messages to that same subscriber again and again. So that's the reason why we need our messenger bot to be highly interactive by placing quick replies, by placing buttons. Um, it's really up to your imagination or up to your creativity. The goal is make your uh, chatbot as creative as possible. So um, for this one, we have created a chatbot um, sequence, a simple, a, a really simple messenger bot. Really. So now, how do we connect connect this with Facebook ads? Um, if if you maybe. Some of you have already used messenger ads. Um, basically, there are there are, I can say there are four ways. There are four possible ways that is given to us by Facebook where we can easily connect our messenger bot to Facebook. The first method is by um, using the template, the button, the button template. So once you have a button template, you have a, you can copy the bot payload here and you can paste it on your um on your facebook ads so best if i can show you how it's done on our blog so i created the blog here uh that that shows how this is done i'm not sure is my page shared am i sharing my screen yeah we can see your screen well how about the blog are you seeing the blog that i have yep yep you can see the blog post okay so this is the blog post that we have created so that you can easily build uh you can easily create a facebook ad so this is a little bit of facebook ads tutorial so in facebook ads you can do a messenger template on your ads creative section so on your ads creative you can create new message template create new um make sure that you are using message destination and on your flow you can copy the bot payload so copy the bot payload icon and then paste the bot payload um, on your on your uh, message template on your Facebook ads, so make sure that you use the connect to bot on your Facebook ads, just like shown here. Connect to bot, and then you can use quick reply, add your bot payload, which is copied directly from your mess MMIO flow from your marketing master flow. Copy the bot payload, post paste it in here. Alternatively, you can use the button template, which is this one. So we can use quick reply. The first one that I show you, this is the quick reply template. Start conversation, customer using quick, quick replies. Another way is you can use buttons. So start conversation using buttons. And when you use buttons, um, always for the action, always set it to send a post back. And then for the post back value, you're going to copy that from your messenger bot. Just uh, copy the bot payload here on your flow shown here, paste it in there, and then boom, you have a working messenger ads. So again, if ever people do not click your button, if ever people don't click your FAQ like this one, we need to build a catch keyword. That's why I have shown you how to build a catch keyword on our flow here, this one. So I hope I am showing you the correct, uh, the, the screen is on the correct. Am I showing you the chatbot flow now, right? 
Yeah, hopefully so. Yeah. So this is the, the chat bot. So this is the catch keyword. Just put all your chat, uh, the, the possible keywords that you want here, put them on a comma separated on the field, and then it, it will be a multiple keyword to catch uh, instances where people, uh, if, in case people do not click on your on your button or on your quick reply. What, on, what, what you can do is, another way is using JSON. So uh, you can easily copy the JSON code on your MMIO flow. So example, this is your flow. Each of the elements here have a, a bot payload, an m.me link, and a JSON code. So uh, you have in your single flow, uh, you have a lot of JSON code to choose from. So Example, I want to send a, a JSON code for my review. You can just copy this one or the JSON code of my entry message, then choose your entry message and, gen and then copy the JSON code. And then once you copy the JSON code, you can paste that JSON code inside of your face advanced uh, JSON ads for Facebook ads portion, and then it will automatically be rendered for you. Um, just quick tip. Um, JSON ads does not support personalization. You cannot add first name, last name on your JSON ad. So make it as generic as possible when you are using JSON. So yeah, um, just, just a, a reman reminder, uh, do not use personalization because uh, JSON ads does, does not support it. Another way is by using keywords. So I have already shown you how you can add keywords. Um, for the keyword portion, um, you can use the FAQ or the frequently asked question of the messenger ads template and then add the keyword that is provided uh, that, you, that you set on your messenger ads. And then you are going to paste that on your messenger bot um, tag trigger, trigger keywords here. So basically you can add more tr tr uh, trigger keywords on any of your flow, just, what, like, just like what I'm doing now. So. It, um, example, you have a review trigger. So example, if they say, hey, I want to see a review. So you can set the review word as your trigger. You can, you can just create a trigger action here, connect it to your review message, and then add a trigger uh, keyword here. Let's say review. Okay. Just like that, you have a trigger review. So whenever they click review, then this messenger bot will, uh, this, this specific message on your flow will be shown to your subscriber. Now let's continue connecting Facebook ads. So another way is using m.me link. So when you use m.me link, then you would need another, another Facebook ads type. What you need to do is use the traffic objective. So traffic objective or you can use the conversion objective but do not do not use the messenger uh, the, the messenger destination uh, what you need to do is use the website destination and then enter your website URL uh, on your ads creative when Facebook asks for it example this one you can paste your m.me link here so whenever whenever your subscriber clicks on your ad um, instead of redirecting to your landing page, which is a website, they will be redirected instead to your messenger bot. And then they will, your, your messenger bot flow will, will automatically start. So where can you get your m.me link? So it's really easy. On your messenger bot, copy the m.me link and then paste it on your Facebook ads. That's how easy it is. Another way to add or to connect Facebook ads is to use Facebook comment reply feature so for the Facebook comment reply feature, make sure the, that you copy the post ID of your ads and then uh, add a, a message bot automation for that specific Facebook post. So I can show you how it is done. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to close the, the chatbot flow here and let's go back to, uh, let's go to um, comment automation. So this is a sample uh, comment automation that I have created. Uh, okay, so this is the exact Facebook ads that we ran for our e-commerce store. And then on our settings, we just set a, a specific flow. So this is the, if we edit the flow, this is the, um, what do you call this? This is the, 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 the chatbot flow that we used to trigger 
the 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 messenger conversation. So as you can see, it is the exact same flow. Um, so whenever they comment on your Facebook posts, post, they will receive this specific flow that you have pre-built for your marketing campaign. So by the way, in this one, you can build that the crown is just, it's just a fancy way of saying that this is my main post. And this is, uh, this is a the the model the, the model post. So, uh, no matter what post they comment on, the, the automation that you have set on this specific post with the crown uh, gets honored or gets gets the will have the value of the auto replies. So example: This is the auto reply that gets received to people who uh, comment, even if this is not the post that they have commented on, as long as the crown. As long as you assigned the crown here, so you can just retract the crown back on its uh, on on the holder, uh, and then paste it back again if you want to make it a model. So this is just a fancy way of doing things. So let's go back to our messenger bot. Um, um, what ha have I shown you show so far? Um, I think we need to get back to our to our um, flow uh, to our uh, um, where is my yeah this one so that we can have a better context on our discussion where we are right now i'm gonna grab my paint again okay let's get back to our flow so we have already discussed this um how we can build this one how we can build this one we have already built that now let's 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 show you how we can build a uh, messenger campaign or a messenger sequence campaign to build this part of the funnel so let's go back to Marketing Master IO and go to uh, Messenger Sequences. Go to Chat Sequences, and this is how we build our chat sequence. So um, we have a chat sequence for the follow-up. So I'm just gonna copy, or I'm just gonna open this to show you how we set this up. So we we just have for this scenario. For by the way, this is an actual campaign. Um, this is just this is not just a campaign that I made for for you know, for uh, for training or for for just to show you guys, I really use this and it's it's making me money. So that's why I'm confident that this works. Uh, what I'm showing you works because I am experiencing it firsthand. Okay, so this is my um, um, follow up sequence for for the product that I am selling. Um, if you see, this is the follow up flow. I, I'm going to show you the the flow that I used for this. I hope that my screen share is working well and it, it is showing you the flow. Yeah, we can see the screenshot really well. I mean, screen sharing is working perfectly. Like we can see the flow. And I also how about, how about the, the chatbot flow that I have open? Yep. Yeah, so this is the chatbot flow for the follow-up yes. sequence. All right, so this is the, chat, the chatbot flow. Are, are you seeing it, the, 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 how I built the flow yep. for the follow-up? Yes. Okay, great, great. So I'm going to explain how I built this one. So for this one, um, I need to set up a condition first. So if the condition is um, is does not have a tag, if 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 the subscriber does not have a buyer tag, um, and if it is a male or a female, then I will have a different message. So the best if I can show you, I sorry. I think I lost my. All right. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm going to show you how I built that uh, later on. I'm just, just, just to make our discussion, you know, more, more focused. I was discussing the messenger sequence. So on the messenger sequence, I will show you how how to build a messenger sequence flow. The flow inside the messenger sequence. I'm just going to show you first how to operate, uh, how to build sequences here. So to build a sequence, all you have to do is add a chat sequence here. You can add how many are the delay you can add a you know if you want to set a after five hours delay or a one day delay um, you know just make sure that you are using your use case is 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 correct what do you mean by use case because facebook restricts us or does not allow us to send any messages outside of the 24 hour span um, if it is not on the allowed use case so we have uh, a very few, very few allowed use case. 
um, for us to be able to send messages outside of the 24 hour window. The first use case is the post purchase use case. So for the po post purchase, you are going to use the post purchase update. So basically this is only available. You should only use this. You should only use this for customers who really bought from your store, who have already bought from your store. And you, all, you should only send a, a, an order update, example, order confirmation, example, um, shipping confirmation, example, hey, John, we have already shipped your product. You should receive it in three to five days. So that is only the valid use case that is allowed in Messenger. Uh, we are not allowed to send any type of promotional messages outside of the 24-hour rule. Example, after three days, even if that person have bought a product from you, legitly bought a product from you, you are still not allowed to send a follow-up message after three days saying that, hey, we have a new, pro a new product that would complement your order. You, it, it is not allowed. It simply is not allowed. So you can only send those type of promotion within the 24-hour span. So that's why uh, when creating a messenger uh, sequence, uh, make sure that the when you total the time that you uh, add here, make sure that it does not um uh, it does not go beyond the 24 hour uh window if you are sending a promotional message but if you are sending a a use case a valid use case like a sending product updates or sending um um information about their order then you can send it even if it is outside of the 24 hour uh window so the 24 hour window starts right after the subscriber or your customer clicks your ad or messages your page or clicks a button of your chatbot or reacts on any one of your messages so or clicks your m.me link so those are only the, the only valid um way where you can effectively reset the 24-hour policy now um for the um for the tag, um, it's best to use do not use tag here just to be safe. All right, just to be safe so that our page will not violate any of the any of the um, set of rules. Now, what you can do, you, you, you can have example, you are running a game, gamification campaign. You can set a don't use tag here, but you can also add a uh, you can add here even if it is outside the 24 hour policy as long as you filter them out all right you, on your flow you add a condition that you are only going to send that certain message if they have subscribed or they are they have interacted with your uh with your flow within the 24 hour span so that is the only valid way where you can add here a message messages after a day after a week just make sure you add a condition to filter out people who did not interact with your page. All right. So that's the safe. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to show you. I'm just telling you the safe way to do to do things, because if you do not follow the policy that is set by Facebook, you can get your page banned. So we have plenty uh, uh, Facebook users who are using many chat previously who are banned because of this. We don't want you to get banned because of using MMIO. So we are warning you beforehand to be careful with your campaign. Um, there is no platform that is exempted from this. Uh, any platform who is honoring Facebook policy, who is a legitimate Facebook uh, uh, partner in, in, AP, in, in implementing the correct way uh, would, really, uh, would really discourage you from sending or from from uh, from from violating the 24-hour policy. So next, if you proceed to the next step, we have an advanced setting here. So this is optional, the advanced settings where you can subscribe or unsubscribe a subscriber based on the tag. Example, you can add a rule here that once the subscriber has a certain lab label, you will subscribe them to this sequence. But this is optional. Um, you also have a rule here where you can remove the subscriber from the tag if they have uh, a, a certain label. So yeah, so this is an advanced setting, the, completely optional. You don't have to set this up. Um, okay, so you have already set a sequence. 
you can add as many sequence as you want as long as you are within the 24 hour policy or you're honoring or you're obeying the 24 hour policy set by facebook so we have a uh we have let's say that we have that in place uh, i'm going to show you how i built the follow up sequence here the follow up sequence i think this is it where is it the follow up this one so i think this is the follow up sequence so for the follow up sequence here i need to connect it here okay for the follow up sequence i set here the tag has a buyer buyer like that one so example if the tag is not buyer so if they do not have a buyer tag then we are going to send them the flow so if they have a tag then send them then don't don't set a condition here don't add a message here just let it set it as a black do not add a message on your output socket leave it as black so we are only sending messages to people who do not have a tag so meaning they are people who did not buy from our store so example if the gender is male we are going to send um a sir a sir salutation so um here in the philippines we are we are big on salutation uh hi sir hi mom hi sir that's why that's why i created it i i set it in a way that we have a gender here but in your country it depends on you if it's if you're not big on salutation you can just ignore the step of the is the step of the funnel it's really up to you how you can build it but on our case it's just you know uh in our culture it's way it's it's way more um respectful if you if you respect the gender gender salutation for the uh uh, uh for for your subscribers so yeah um you, that's i'm just going to show you that's that's another way, use case here so if it is a male you say hello sir and then we are going to send them a a, a message promoting them to buy again and then we are sending them a, them a coupon code um to leverage uh to, to make them to incentivize them to buy from our store so it's really easy to to build a coupon code all you have to do is go to your e-commerce store and then go to coupons and then build a coupon code from in there and also for the user input the user input is used for uh, to get data from your customer in this case i am telling them if they have any increase then type the increase below and after they type the inquiry we are going to store the inquiry on the system and once they that is stored uh, we can easily uh, retract them and then get valuable information depending on the customer inquiry okay so we have also here learn more which is pointing to the uh, correct url so let's let me go back to uh, our flow i'm going to show you how you can create a coupon code that you can use on your marketing campaign so if you have uh, already built a store all you have to do is go to shops and then go to coupons click the coupons and then add a new coupon code and then yeah so this is the coupon you get you can add a coupon code here example christmas christmas discount so you can set discount coupon code uh depending on the uh the, it depends on the order value or the discount percentage or depending on the product and then you can set the expiration date so it's really up to you how you configure your coupon code and then you are going to send those coupon codes on your messenger follow-up sequences so to incentivize people who did not buy from your store who are on the fence just on they are on the fence they they are just they just need a little prodding just they just need a little push to make them buy so coupon code is a good way to go so um for the uh let's go back to our flow uh to our uh, i'm gonna share with you the um wait up the pain okay we are on our funnel right now so on our funnel i have shown you already the first the first steps the facebook ads the messenger and then add to cart so i'm now going to show you how you can build a an, an email an email abandoned cart recovery and in a, a messenger abandoned cart recovery so this is part of our funnel so i'm going to show you how you can do that let's go back to marketing master io okay i think i need to yeah 
So we are back on Marketing Master IO dashboard. So the way to do that is you are going to build a shop notification. So go to shop notifications. And then after you are on the shop notifications, what you can do here is you're going to add a new notification. So when you create a store, by the way, when you create a store, you have a preset or a default notification. So this is a notification for an on hold, on hold order type. So whenever a customer buys from your store and the status is on hold, meaning they are they bought using cash on delivery or manual payment method, and they and they haven't paid yet, then the order type is on hold. So you can send a messages via email, via SMS, and via messenger on their, uh, on their, um, on your, on your, on your, on your uh, customer. So uh, you are, you have also a shop notification here. So the shop, not, the shop admin notification is sent to the shop admin's email and messenger. All right, so you will have a notification whenever you receive a new order. So that's the purpose of the shop notification. Now, for the uh, abandoned cart recovery, all you have to do is add a new notification. So once you are here on the new notification, you are going to set the event type to abandon. Okay, so the event type is now abandoned. And then the shop notification name, let's say this is abandoned. Abandoned cart campaign. Okay, so this is abandoned cart campaign. And then we are going to set the receiver. So the receiver should be the customer. And then we are going to set what medium we are going to send our message to. So we can send them on SMS, email, or messenger. So since all of the mediums are enabled, then we need to set three types of messages. But if you want to send a notification only in Messenger, then you, you simply uh, you need to simply disable the SMS and disable the email. And then it will be, uh, you're then going just to set the email and the Messenger, all right? So if you want to send to multiple uh, platform or to multiple medium, then enable the medium that you want or that, that you want to send the customer with. All right, so the message variables. The message variables basically gets automatically replaced with the true value once the message is sent to the customer. So um, example, you can set the order value, uh, the, the message here, let's say, um, we are sending in Messenger. So we have option here, we can send a single Messenger campaign or we can send a follow-up or a Messenger sequence. So if you want to send a Messenger sequence to people who already bought or to people who abandoned, then you simply need to enable the Messenger sequence and then select your flow. Select your flow here. So if you have already created your flow, your follow-up flow for people who have not, or for people who abandoned their campaign, then select it in here. For example, I have selected the flow. And then what you can do is, you, we can save the notification. So save the notification and voila, we have an abandoned cart campaign. So that's how easy it is. The hard part is just building your follow-up message or your follow-up flow. So that's the, just the, that's just the hard part, but really creating creating or configuring your abandoned cart campaign is just a matter of uh, uh, um, creating a shop notification. So since this is also a part of shop notification abandoned cart recovery, I'm gonna show you how to build a flow or a messenger flow that would trigger or that would send um, to our subscribers once they were not able to finish their order or they abandoned their order. So their abandoned, the abandoned cart recovery will, will trigger um, after 15 minutes, all right? 15 minutes and they still did not order from your store or they did not, did not continue their order, then they will be, the order status will be classified as abandoned. And once the order status is classified as abandoned, then the your abandoned cart notifications will trigger as well. So if we create here, example, abandoned flow, just create an abandoned flow here on your messenger. 
the first thing that we need to do is build a condition element to filter out people who did who already bought and who did not buy yet so it's important to send our abandoned cart recovery campaigns only to people who did not buy from our store so that's why we are going to build first a condition element here so add a tag condition here just like what i'm doing right now if the the tag or the tag is not buyer so it does not have or the subscriber does not have a buyer tag then if it's if it is true if it is true that the subscriber does not have a buyer tag then send a message so this is our first message so this is my first message um hello um got busy um tell us tell us how we can help you help you with your order now um for the details for the order details we need to add a store variables here um with your order so let's say you or you you were supposed to you were supposed to order to order and then add the message variable here so the message variable i think we need to get that back from our e-commerce store so let's go to our e-commerce store shop notifications i'm going to open it in a new window and then we are going to copy that variable okay so let, while opening i'm just gonna share the screen back with you let me have the screen back okay the, the screen the screen 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 all right are you seeing the screen right now i i opened a new window by the way so i opened a new window okay i am now on the shop notifications and then i am going to copy the uh the order details or the variables here so let me open this up and then copy the variables i'm gonna use that variables for my flow so example um the um the order items okay the order items i'm gonna copy this variable i'm gonna use this on my flow you were supposed to order and then the order items uh um, but but uh but was not able or whatever it's really up to you how you can build your uh your your message here so example this is our message one just just assume that we have built a good a good copy here we really a, a copy that really convinced them to buy or to resume the purchase that they have made and then uh, it's important to get them back to the cart to the to where they left off so we need to copy the cart url so go to variables copy the cart url which is here go back to your cart go back to your cart and then add the cart url just to have a little visual uh, a better visual let's add emoji here okay go back to your cart and then point them to your cart url so this is a variable and it's get, the value gets automatically replaced with the actual value once the customer has placed their order on your store so yeah i'm going to confirm the changes so let's say this is my abandoned flow message one so this is my first message i'm going to save this and then um, if you can recall it's really easy to build a messenger sequence here just go back to your messenger sequence i'm gonna create a new sequence here i'm gonna name this as abandoned cart flow and then i'm gonna send this flow um five minutes so by the way this five minutes this the, the five minutes or the countdown will start after the order has been tagged or has been converted as or has been identified as an abandoned order so remember i said earlier that the order gets automatically tagged as an abandoned order uh, after some time it's not it's not automatic um the, the system will wait 15 minutes i think i need to get my figure straight i think 15 to 30 minutes um i will get back to you on that but it's it's along that line 15 to 30 minutes um if the if the order 
uh, still not fulfilled or is the, 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 the your subscriber did, did not continue with the purchase then the order will be tagged as a as an abandoned order and from that time on um, the countdown will start for the five minutes that I'm gonna set here on my messenger sequence so I'm gonna select my flow which is abandoned message one and then I'm gonna set the entry message as the condition here and then I am not going to use tag all right, so I'm not going to use tag. I think I'm not going to need another message here to to follow up the to follow them up after three hours. So maybe I can go for three hours here, or maybe eight hours or so. It's really up to you. But for me, I'm just going to go for three hours, and then I'm going to build another flow here. So I'm going to build up uh, add another messenger flow. I can either add another flow or I, I can simply edit the flow that I have previously built and then add the second message in there. Okay, I'm, I can just edit that. I can work with this. So what I can do is um, I can build a placeholder here. Um, by the way, this is uh, more a little advanced stuff. But this is a best practice in order for you to better organize your flow in creating a sequence. So what I'm doing here is a placeholder strategy wherein you don't need to build a lot of flows for your messenger sequence. You only need to build one flow and on that one flow, it contains all your all the needed messages for your messenger sequence. So a little a little techy, a little advanced, but uh, I'm going to teach you this because this is a best practice or a good a good a good to have if you would like to to manage your messages on your messenger sequence better so i'm going to have a quick reply here so this is just by the way a, it just a holder a holder flow what it means is it, it is a dummy flow that holds our message that that we are going to use for our messenger sequence so this is not required this is just a matter of best practice for me so let's say this is my message one so customers are really not going to see my holder flow. OK. And then I'm going to use this. In, instead of using uh, naming is con con um, condition one, I'm going to name this as my um, abandon entry one. OK. So this is my, all right, let's just say abandon one, abandon message one, OK? So that I can better uh, identify it later on when I am building my messenger, I uh, my messenger sequence. So I'm gonna need another message too here for brevity, so that we don't uh, eat too much of uh, I don't eat too much of your time. I'm just gonna create three messages here. Okay, I don't want to hold much of your time. I know it is precious, so I'm gonna build just three follow up messages. Okay point them up to the condition and the condition that is my message abandon message to clone this up and then uh -huh. this is message three okay good and after that i'm gonna build the message for this so maybe um for the message two i can have a coupon code ready for them let's say um order items add this coupon code so my coupon code 20 okay so maybe 20 percent discount is what you're going, going to give them and then go to your cart and then add the cart url variable cart url okay good so this is my message too i'm going to build my message message three as well so maybe um, for the message three, let's let's have a little um, fear of missing out here on the picture. Uh, yeah, just, I'm just gonna just, let's just say that I have already built the fear of message FOMO or fear of missing out message here for my third uh, message here. So the first message is follow up, which is on this on this message got PC whatever, and then for the second follow up, I'm gonna give them the coupon code. And then the, the last message will be the last warning, the fear of missing out uh, message. So it's really up to you how you can build up that one. So for this one, I'm just going to name this as the holder or the dummy 
dummy flow. I'm going to save this flow. And then I'm going to use the flow or the messages that I have built on this dummy flow on my messenger sequence. So what I can do is let's go back to messenger sequence and let's completely build our uh, flow. So uh, we built our e-commerce store in a way that the integration between messenger is really tight. Um, so if you want to market it uh, like a website, like where you have a link and you send your uh, people to your to your profile, then I highly suggest that you be you 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 you, uh, you have a custom domain integrated as well. So I'm going to show you how that looks like here. So uh, I have already shown how it looks like earlier when I when I was showing the store. So um, this is a basic store. So I'm going to click the view. So this is a sample homepage from an e-commerce store. So you can add video. So this is uh, uh, this, this is uh, very basic. I quickly created it um, earlier. Just I just uh, uh, put a banner or a background videos or background images in here. So you basically, you are free to build a more robust, uh, a, a better uh, store here, uh, just like one of our users. Um, so if we go to shop now, you will be redirected to your products in here. And then if you go here, um, we have here a, a, just a test product. So if we go add to cart, and then uh, you can add more products in here. So example, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna buy this product, just this, and then I'm gonna place an order. And then um, the way this works is is um, if your customer have already ordered from your store once then they wouldn't need to enter their uh, address again. They don't also need to create an account. They don't need to create an account. Um, their details is saved not on the server, but on their browser. So that's there's a difference. Um, uh, because if you save the customer's information without their consent on your server, then that's that's not good. But uh, it all is saved on their browser, so it's on their it's on they, they manage it. It, it it's compliant to uh privacy policies so if you click deliver to this address then the subscriber will choose what payment of what payment type they are going to um to choose from stripe they can pay paypal manual payment um we are having requests to add more payment options here and we are going to honor those requests um i'm just gonna uh, uh, if people are, if, if you want to have a, another payment integration here, just request it on the roadmap and we will build it for you. For so example, I'm going to choose a cash on delivery here. Um, I can finalize my order. So the internet is just really uh, laggy in my site. But um, after they purchase, they will be shown with the this is what we call the post purchase offers. I was supposed to show this later on on, on the on our lesson, but I guess we don't have so much time. I'm going to shortcut the discussion. So this is supposed to be the very end of our uh, discussion today. So this is what we call a post purchase upsell where people will get an additional offer right after they purchase from your store. So if they click yes, add this to my order, it will be automatically added to their order, increasing the average order value of your uh, customers. So it's really easy to set this up. I'm going to show you uh, how you can easily do this. So this is another upsell. So if they bought your previous upsell, why why not offer another upsell? <laughs> why not offer another? So just offer another upsell um, until you know until it's 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 not really that annoying. If you think Offering another upsell is would be very annoying for your customer. Then don't offer another upsell. But if you think uh, your customer would be able to put up with another offer and your offer is really irresistible, I think go for it. Go for as many upsells as you want, as long as your product is really helpful and you are offering a very good irresistible offer like this one. So 
I can use red medium for the for my offer here so if if we click add to my order um, it will be added to their store so in um, let's just wait because uh, the background is loading so it's now being loaded uh, instead of buying just one product because uh, because we have upsells um, we were able to uh, significantly add the order value uh, that our customers uh, are supposed to have uh, by, by just a little configuration on your dashboard. So if you want to know how you can configure your upsells, all you have to do is go to your store, go to your upsells. It will be like a flow builder. You are going to build your flow basically, just like this one. I'm going to show you how this is built. Yeah, this is, this is just, this is how you build upsells. Really easy and intuitive. So trigger, you can set the trigger here. You can you can set what uh, example. If my customer buys this type, this specific product, um, equivalent, equal or more than one, meaning they bought at least one product of this type, then we are going to offer this upsell. Okay, the ceramic coating upsell. And then if they buy this upsell, then uh, if if they buy that upsell, we will offer another upsell. And if they did not, or if they reject the offer, then we have a downsell here, which you can offer, and then, and then all will lead to our thank you page, like this one. So, how to build an upsell offer? All you have to do is click your offer here, and then um, the builder will be opened, and then you are just going to configure uh, your product, your offer. You can configure your content here. You can add images, videos, picture, uh, anything that you need to convince your buyer to uh, to to basically get the the post purchase offers that you are uh, offering them. So, and uh, Peter also has like another question: Do they pay for the initial product before the upsells? Look, uh, okay, that's the e-commerce flow when you are showing the upsells. So uh, do the customers have to pay before the upsells or? Yeah, yeah. So the post it, it's called post-purchase upsells. It means they, they have already paid. The, 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 the purchase has already been done, meaning there's no chance for your, there's, there is no uh, risk. There's no risk. It's just add, it's just adding to the value. So, um, so after they purchase, instead of showing that this is the, 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 the philosophy behind, instead of showing the thank you page, why not show another offer? The, right. the thank you page, that's, that's what we usually show to our subscribers or to our customers right after they purchase. But, uh, it's really, uh, it's a waste. It's a waste because when your customers purchase, they still have that purchasing desire or what we call this. They are still in the zone. They are still in the purchasing zone. It's really easy to convince them or they are on their most vulnerable state when they just purchase from your store. So one, one, when they are on their most vulnerable state, right after they purchase, show them the offer that is really irresistible. And then if they click that, they wouldn't have to enter their, their credit card information again. They don't need to to log into PayPal again, they just click once and then it's their credit card gets automatically charged. Their PayPal gets automatically charged with just one click. So that's the one click upsell feature. Lovely. So Peter, hold the answer question. So uh, Tony asks, uh, Colin, is it possible for you to put together a guide on messaging? Like I believe it's for the chatbots. Like, uh, is that like a guide or something available that we can take a look at? Because it seems like a pretty uh, something that you can achieve a lot of things within Marketing Master. So uh, uh, if there's like a guide or something, it'd be fantastic. Uh, I think we already have a documentation, but I think what you want is more of a course or a marketing course. <laughs> I think yeah, that's sure. what, you, what you're asking for. Um, I can work with that. I think yeah. I can put up a video or two that I think, even this video, if you replay this video, it would be a good guide for you. Uh, if you get this video from the start. Um, and if you want more details, a, a beginner level detail where you, you we will guide you click per click and the uh, philosophies behind why we need 
certain elements, build certain like that, and the rules behind Facebook and how to get around it like that. Uh, maybe I can build a more detailed video. I, I think that's in the roadmap. I think that's in the roadmap. Um, yeah, yeah, I think uh, I don't have an ETA for that yet, but uh, I think that would be helpful. I will, I think within two weeks, I think I would be able to uh, build a video specifically for newbies. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like, uh, so uh, Tony, I believe like uh, we, uh, I mean, like our team and uh, Colin and team, we have been in a discussion to create like a bunch of use case based videos. So it'll be great if you could start collecting some inputs, like what kind of like uh, flows and what exactly you would like to see in those videos instead of creating like boring tutorial videos, which is just gonna show you the flow by flow. It'll be much more interesting if you could just tell us like what exactly you would like to see covered in yeah. those videos. That'll be amazing. That would be very that would be very helpful if you would like to uh, give us what exactly. Um, it would give us a better targeted uh, uh, targeted video for you and it, it would be very helpful for you as well. Exactly, for example, say someone has, I mean, if the use case is gonna be about someone has made a purchase, you have an e-commerce up funnel, I mean funnel uh, where there's like a two or three upsells and someone has just purchased uh, your front end offer, but then he has not purchased, he or she uh, not purchased the upsells how exactly would you be retargeting them? How exactly would you be sending a messenger flow? If uh, there is like scenarios like this, creating videos for that would be like a great help for Colin and I mean Colin, as well as for you. It'll be like straight and specific use cases. So that will serve you like a, a I mean, in so it's kind of like a giving you like a template of what exactly you should be doing and you can do exactly that. So if yeah. you could have like more use cases like that, then we are like a more than happy. And I'm sure like Colin would be more than happy to take such feedback and then uh, create videos for that. I, uh, I mean, personally, having known uh, Colin for a while, uh, I, I'm pretty sure like I love doing videos. So yeah, uh, <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, so it'd be great if you could just keep sharing. Like, I mean, you can use Facebook uh, group, or you can send an email, uh, or you can just put them on the deal page. Like, you can just put like everything that you wanted to see uh, as videos, and then we can see how exactly we can accommodate the time to deliver them to you. We'll get that done. I'm just gonna see if there's any new questions. Uh, yeah, one last question. Uh, we have like, running behind the time. So uh, can GIF images be uploaded for products? Yeah, of course you can. Okay, that's a day, that's a yes. And uh, Katie wants to know, can we do HTTPS requests on the flow? That's on the roadmap. So um, we will add another element where you can do HTTPS post request, get request, delete request with headers, JSON uh, body request on the Facebook. So basically it's an external request where you can do it. Um, another is you would be able to send email and SMS directly inside your flow. So that would be in the future as well. So I think um, uh, with uh, 20 or th this deal will not end before that feature will be published. Right. Got you. So uh, Katie, that is your answer. So Katie is the uh, kind of like a superhero I know when it comes to like chatbots and stuff. So uh, obviously Katie will have like, plenty of questions. I've seen her like everywhere. Uh, whenever there's like discussion about chatbots and messenger marketing, I have seen Katie everywhere. So Katie, nice to have some very interesting questions over there. So if I'm, I don't see like any new questions coming in, but then again, it's been like a quite long webinar, uh, but this is not gonna be like end of the world. We are gonna have at least two or three more webinars with uh, Colin. And we are also looking forward to have like more and more inputs regarding, especially regarding what kind of videos you would like to see and uh, feature requests and integrations as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. And thank you everyone. Uh, especially thank you Colin for taking a lot of time to uh, walk us through. And, uh, my pleasure, and, my pleasure. Yeah, personally, I really, I really, really appreciate like super honest and uh, truthful answers because there's nothing shitty here and it's like a pretty straightforward answers. I, I mean, this is doable, this is not doable. We're not gonna do this, we will definitely do this. I really love answers like that. So thank you so much for that. So, um, and Tony, yes, definitely we will publish the recording. I mean, it should be ready in like the next couple of hours. And thank you everyone for keeping this webinar very, very interactive. So stay tuned. Thank and you. We, yeah, stay tuned and we will send you an invite for the next webinar as soon as we have the dates ready. Thank See you, everyone. Thank you for yeah. coming. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye.